So in this video, I'm going to review the medium size Ortley bike packing seat bag. Is it the right size for daily bike adventures? Find out in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you like to ride bikes, but don't necessarily race and are into things like gravel bikes, 650B bikes, bike packing, the supple life, then you have found your people, consider subscribing. The bike packing seat bags are awesome for bike packing, but sometimes the design just gets in the way for everyday use. Over a year ago, we took a look at the Ortley bike packing seat bag, which was huge, which was waterproof, had great capacity, awesome materials, but it really was, at least for me, limited to uh, bike packing trips. And, and that was mostly because when I compress it to its smallest size, it just wouldn't hold its shape very well. Fast forward to the future, Ortlieb has come out with a smaller size bike packing seat bag, which I actually think will fit into the lives of most people more often. So in terms of stats, this smaller seat bag they are calling a medium weighs in at about 330 grams on the R scale compared to the 460 grams of the larger one. For volume, it has been shrunk down to 11 liters, which is still pretty generous by a lot of standards. Definitely still plenty of room to take on those bike packing expeditions. And this is compared to the larger bike packing seat bag, which was a ginormous 16 liter capacity. Other important key changes with the seat bag is that instead of using two buckles, it actually just uses one buckle. Also, if you notice the amount of real estate it needs on the seat post is a lot less. So if you're a shorter person like me and don't have a ton of saddle rail to tire clearance, then this is definitely a seat bag to check out. And one small, but really actually kind of a big change in terms of functionality is they increase the length of those little uh, buckles that go over your seat rails. If you've tried many seat bags, you know that's usually the bane of getting them on and off the bike. But this Ortley bag has made it a little bit easier by making that material around the buckle a little bit longer so you don't have to jam your fingers up in there. So why do I think this size seat bag is so great? Well, as many of you know, Laura and I are training for Dirty Kanza and we've been training through the springs. So that means carrying lots of layers because it'll be sunny one moment and then rainy and hailing the next. So we just have a bunch of bulky things that probably won't fit in a smaller size regular bike seat bag. And it's probably too little for a full-on bike packing seat bag. And this is where the medium size Ortlieb actually really, really shines. It's got the capacity to carry the multiple layers that we need uh, in spring conditions or even for a long event ride like Dirty Kanza. And the bag has the capacity to carry these things. But probably the thing I love most about this is even when it's empty, even when there's very little inside, you can close it up fairly neatly and it's not wagging around. So this is what it looks like with nothing inside and completely closed down. So over the last couple days, I've ridden over 100 miles with the seat bag uh, in its tightest configuration, and I'm pretty stoked on it. I don't feel it wagging around. It doesn't hit my legs or anything. And when I do have to dump layers or pick up extra food, I can open it up and stick those things in there and have that capacity. So for me, I really love the versatility of this size of seat bag. Yes, you can use it for adventures, but you can also incorporate it into daily life on your long weekend rides, or if you do event rides where you just want to carry extra layers. So in terms of pro, it's a great everyday size and adventure size. They've really refined uh, some of the design. It works great for shorter riders. And I love that they lengthen the strap on the over the saddle rail buckle. It makes it that much easier to get on and off your bike. In terms of cons, the only one I can really think of is the price. It does cost about anywhere between 120 to 150 bucks. So it is spendy, but comparable to other seat bags in the market. And like all Ortley products, it's waterproof. It's made with that, those same high German quality standards. So you know it's a bag that's gonna last for a long time. So in my opinion, definitely worth the money. What do you guys think of this new and smaller size? Have you guys tried it? Was the large one too large for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this review, it, if it helped you make a decision in some way, then consider supporting the channel financially. I'm gonna put links in the description below. And once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep the supple side down.